Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with a belated sneak peek unboxing or a first look unboxing from Diamond Art Club. Thanks to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. This is one of their new releases from this past weekend and I it was just held up with some shipping delays. I still have it here to share with you all. I believe that as of the time of this filming, it's still in stock on the website. So feel free to go do some shopping. We are in the Halloween season and uh, you could take advantage and pick up this adorable kit called Harvest Witch by Ariga Sophia Raikkonen. Uh, my apologies if I'm mispronouncing the artist's name. This artwork, I know it looks kind of dark with this lighting. I'm going to show you a better look at the artwork once we open up this box but this one's gonna have square shaped diamonds 25.6 by 33.9 inches or 65 by 86 centimeters and then on the box itself there are some instructions on the back about how to diamond paint and the kit contents and there is a discount code on the side that you're welcome to take advantage of and also if you are brand new to diamond art club and are thinking of making your first purchase i also have a 20 percent off discount code for first time buyers you're welcome to use uh, it's just my name katie k-a-t-i-e and the number 20 and i may make a small commission should you choose to use that so please don't feel obligated that always goes right back into my channel so of course thank you so much in advance if you do uh, choose to use it but uh, like i said no obligation i'm going to show you some different discount codes just in this video there's a lot floating around out there the only thing i say to definitely do is to take advantage of some sort of discount code um, and save save on your purchase <laughs> so anyway we've got uh, this bag has most of our kit contents in it but outside of it we do have this toolkit which is going to have everything you need to your diamond painting and some extra goodies as well so you're going to get a pen and squishy the color on those is going to vary we've got a pair of tweezers they are sharp on the end, so you're going to want to keep that cover on. These are some plastic multi-placers. You can pop that into the end of your pen and try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. We've got some wax in this caddy. There is a thin plastic film on here that you want to make sure that you peel off before you try to go ahead and load up your pen. So there's that. You've got, I think, two, yeah, two in there. We've got a bag of baggies. If you want to uh, put your leftover diamonds or kit up and into those, you can. We've got a tray, and this is actually not a piece of trash or a mistake. This is a tray stopper you can pop into the end to help keep the diamonds from sliding out. This is a cover minder. There's a magnet on the back you can slide off, and it holds back the plastic cover where you're working, and the style on those is gonna vary. And then this is a roll of washi tape. The print will vary, but I have a, a video dedicated to how, why, and when I like to use washi tape with my canvases. So if you'd like to see a demo and hear me go kind of into detail explaining what you can use washi tape for, I will have that linked below. So yep, there's our whole toolkit. And then also included is this smaller sticker. I use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. I like that it has the original artwork and the stats. Um, and you know, other people use this on the side of their box to help organize their stash, or you can find something else crafty to do with it. But I like that they include that one. Everything else is gonna be included in this, um, this branded desk cover or bag. <laughs> And, oh my gosh, okay, so the canvas material is really, really plush and soft. Wow, okay, that rendering, <laughs> as soon as I unrolled it, I was like, dang, that looks really good, you guys. So this is a larger kit. Obviously, I'm not able to fit it quite all in frame, but if you take a look at the screen right now, I will have popped up a picture of the entire canvas so that you can see all of it at once. And then as far as what was included, you guys, we have a pamphlet here with a thank you note from the founder on the front, some info about what's included in your kit. Here's a link to a beginner video. I also have one that I'll have linked below for you. Here's a link to their a QR code for their VIP Facebook group, which you can join once you're made your first, you've made your first purchase, and that can be a handy resource. And then some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you along with some tips and tricks, yet another discount code, and then QR codes that will take you to the mobile app. You do get 20% off your first purchase through the app. Like I said, 
discount codes galore. <laughs> now we do have two sticker sheets here because this kit is quite colorful. It's going to have 78 colors in total. And uh, that is a somewhat recent development uh, this past few months or several months or so where Diamond Art Club started expanding past the kind of 65, 67 rather, the 67 kind of color max that they had. And now we're seeing kits that have even more than that, which is fun. I do like that they include these larger sticker sheets. There's the info again, this is Harvest Witch, and here's a spot to write your start and end date. Here is a better look with a little bit better lighting at the original artwork. So, 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 so pretty. I really love that. And look at our little black cat friend here at the bottom too. Here are the stats for you again. And then you guys, these over here are actually a set of pre-cut sticker labels. So I really like that these are pre-cut and ready to go for you because then you can just put those on your storage containers when you're kidding up or whatnot. Um, and then the color code system you see in this column is the same as the DMC color code system. Most diamond painting companies use this system. And uh, then we obviously have the symbol in the middle and the number over here on the side. Now in Diamond Art Club's numbering system though, anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. So we're gonna have three ABs in this kit and I'll tell you more about those when we're looking at the diamonds. And then if you look at the very end of your color list, you will sometimes see colors that have a letter at the beginning. In this case, we have three colors with the letter Z at the beginning. And that indicates a special, another special kind of diamond called a fairy dust diamond. And so again, I'll tell you more about those and show those to you when we're actually looking at the diamonds in just a bit. Here's a little peek at those colors. <laughs> but first, I'd like to kind of take you on a little tour of the canvas. Just kind of showing you some of these details as we're looking. It's just the top there. If your canvas is wanting to curl inward like that, that's that's really common. It's not a huge deal. You can either roll the whole canvas backwards, um, like the whole thing, or you could just do what I just did and just kind of flop it that way. Diamond Art Club's canvases are self-flattening. It will eventually lay flat on its own if you just leave it for a bit, but you can also help it along if you're impatient like me. <laughs> so up here at the top, we have their branding, Do What Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. Then the edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished. You're not gonna have to worry about fraying on your canvas at all. And the back, like I mentioned earlier, it's this really soft and plush material. It's a nice weight and it's sturdy, but also being really kind of malleable too. It's, it's like the best of all worlds, in my opinion. And I'm picky about my canvases. So uh, we have a clear plastic cover that goes over the poured glue that Diamond Art Club uses on their canvas that is very sticky. And we have a legend up here at the top left that goes quite a ways down. So again, we have 78 colors in this kit. We have the same legend and color list over here at the bottom right. <clears throat> And if we hop down to the bottom left, we've got a thumbnail of the original artwork and the title and the size, and then copyright, Rika Sophia Raikkonen, or Raikkonen. Um, this is really important because this is one of the ways that it's indicating that this piece is legally licensed. That means that Diamond Art Club both has permission of the artist and is compensating the artist for the use of their artwork. And that's the case with all of Diamond Art Club's kits and is really, really important to me and a lot of other crafters and creators because Art theft is unfortunately common in the crafting world, and so I'm all about supporting companies that are doing right by artists. Here at the bottom, there's links to their socials and another discount code, and info about their lifetime warranty. So as long as you are the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty. That includes if you happen to run out of any diamond colors or have any trouble with the glue or the canvas or anything like that, just contact their customer support and look at you taken care of. So the printing on the canvas is really clear. This kit has a lot of details to it. So as we're kind of looking at it, I'm definitely seeing a higher level of what we call confetti. Confetti is where we have kind of a lot of color changes in a small area. Maybe some of the cat's face is a good example, or even kind of like these, these areas down here. Uh, confetti tends to take a little bit longer to do because like I said, more color changes in a small area. You're changing out that color in your tray a bit more often. And uh, the payoff though is that usually you do get a nice amount of detail with confetti. We do have little bits here of kind of 
almost sort of linear color blocking where there's lines of the same color. So color blocking is when you have kind of lots of the same color in a small area. This is an example over here is a good example. You can use your multi-placer and you'll have that color in your tray for longer. So those areas tend to go a bit faster. I do really like a nice mix of both in my paintings because confetti keeps it interesting, but color blocking keeps it moving. The detail in her face looks really good. I'm curious to see I'm thrown off a little bit by the white symbols. It's hard to picture how that's gonna actually look with drills down and to see how it actually renders. But uh, once the actual colors are there, I think it's gonna look nice. I do think it's gonna look nice. I like her hair. <laughs> and all of, these, all of these little details, there's a lot to this one, a lot. So then we have these background elements as well. All right, the printing looks good. Everything looks clear from what I'm seeing. Let me grab my measuring tape. I always like to go ahead and just do a measurement on these to see if we are true to size, getting what we're adver what's advertised. <laughs> Usually we are with Diamond Art Club, but I do like to always double check. We are at just a tick shy of 86 centimeters. We're listed as 86 centimeters. And then we are at about 65 centimeters on the nose. And so I will go ahead and call that true to size. So not terribly surprising, but we'll just let her, her hang out in the background. Right now what I'd like to do is take a look at these diamonds together. So there's a sticker on here that tells you what kit these go with in case you store these separate from the canvas outside the box they came in. Here's our gorgeous color spread. Now these are square diamonds, like I mentioned, and Diamond Art Club does make all their diamonds in house. And that includes both their round and square diamonds. And they're really, you could see kind of the shiny, the shiny effect in the packaging. And uh, they do print the DMC code on the package, so you know which ones these go with. They even added this little line underneath uh, for any numbers like sixes and nines that you might not necessarily know right away if they're right side up or upside down. Diamond Art Club's diamonds do tend to be pretty uniform in size and shape. Um, and their square diamonds, they've been trying to continuously work on upgrading them and making them more faceted. And it kind of makes this extra shiny effect. I have a whole a video dedicated to where I did a comparison between the same kit from Diamond Art Club with round and square diamonds because they do occasionally, and more often now it seems like, release kits that are offered in both drill shapes and you choose the drill shape. So I, I completed the first of those kits in both round and square diamonds and did a whole comparison. And you can kind of see there the biggest differences between the finished effect of rounds and squares. I'm looking and I'm kind of doubting myself. Like, Did I accidentally skim past any special drill colors? I haven't seen any yet. Uh, but I don't, I'll go back and double check. There's still, I mean, there's 78 colors. There's a lot, so there's still time. Here we go, you guys, 141. This is one of our AB colors. Now, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and they're named after the Northern Lights, which have a really pretty, you know, colorful rainbow shift kind of effect, or color shift effect, rainbow effect. And so that's where they get the their, their name, because these have that iridescent coating on the top that is really going to stand out from other diamonds and highlight the areas it's been placed on the canvas. So that's our first AB color, and I will go through and show you where each of our special drill colors are going to be found on the canvas once we're done looking at all the colors. Let's get through all the colors first, and then we'll see. So, oh, and here we have... Uh, Z156, this is actually our first fairy dust color. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to zoom in because fairy dust diamonds have a much more subtle effect. If you take a look, these have a glitter coating there. You can kind of see it there. A glitter coating on the top that has a pretty and subtle shimmery effect that it does help them stand out from regular diamonds, but it's not quite as striking in your face as ABs are. So fairy dust diamonds are actually my favorite kind of special drill that Diamond Art Club has, but they're very, very subtle. So 
That's our first one. It's kind of a pretty pale lavender. And then we have, here's our next AB color, 131. That's a nice tangerine orange AB. Love that. Right next to it is our next fairy dust color. This is Z775. Again, we're talking about a really, really subtle color shift, or sorry, not color shift, glitter. Like someone just brushed some really fine glitter powder on the top. Gorgeous. There you go. And then here's our third and last fairy dust color. It's more of a gold one, 743. Love that. And then if I am remembering right, we should have one more AB color, maybe in this last strand. <laughs> These ones are the colors we just have little bits of. Okay, here we go. 111, just a tiny bit of this kind of raspberry AB. Oh, the sun just went behind the clouds out here. Okay, um, we're actually overcast today, which is unusual for Southern California. So my apologies for the lighting shift there. Um, 111, love that bold AB. So striking. I can't wait to see where that one's gonna go. I'm actually, there's so many colors going on in this kit. I'm not 100% sure where that particular color is going to go. These colors we just have the tiniest amounts of, and Diamond Art Club does give you extras, but if you happen to run out, you can contact them and they'll send you more. Okay, let's take a look. I wanna take a look at from the bottom and we're gonna find where these ABs and these fairy dust colors are gonna go. Again, we have three of each. Um, we had the orange AB, the raspberry AB, and the white AB, and then we had the pale lavender fairy dust, the pale blue fairy dust, and kind of the goldish yellow fairy dust color so we have in the candles over here we have both the gold fairy dust as well as the the orange ab um are kind of there's a lot of them in these candles <laughs> and actually highlighting on the edges of the pumpkin as well and then the sparks that are flying off here those are the orange ab and then I'm looking to see like do we have any ABs or fairy dust in our little cat friend over here what was the symbol for the pale lavender fairy dust let me make sure I'm not missing it okay it's the letter a um, so there's just a couple of fairy dust diamonds in the cat's eyes to give him a little bit of glimmer then in the cauldron we have both the orange AB and the yellow fairy dust a uh, fairy dust color as well as kind of yeah a lot of these bright colors you're seeing are those orange fairy dust and or the gold ab kind of highlighting in the pumpkins and on the candles over here as well and then i'm really worried that i'm gonna miss <laughs> it's it's the lavender fairy dust and the blue fairy dust so those might be in the sky up there we'll see okay so we have a little bit of the gold fairy dust right here, as well as kind of on the edges of her robe that's dangling here. And... Okay. These candles over here have the orange AB and the yellow fairy dust as well. And then we have a couple of dots of the white AB right here. Yeah, there wasn't a ton of the white AB. Okay, so we do have the pale blue fairy dust color. Is there some here in the background? It's one of these kind of middle blue shades. It's over here as well, back here, and then up here is the blue fairy dust. A little bit over here as well. And then the pale lavender fairy dust is, this color almost looks blue in camera, but it is like a bluish purple color. It's right here. So it's just gonna give kind of a shimmer effect to the kind of sky and what's going on behind her. I like that. There's the purple, pale, pale lavender, <laughs> blue lavender fairy dust color right here. This jack-o'-lantern, uh, its mouth and its eyes are all orange ABs. <laughs> so that's really gonna stand out too. And then, let me see, okay. As we're moving up here, if you guys see these little white dots, that's all white AB. It's kind of like, I'm just thinking of them as like magic motes or magic sparks. And then I am seeing the raspberry AB is 
kind of doing some highlighting here and on like the bow there's a line of it right here and then on her shoulder it's not the one closest to the sky but the one right next to it there's a line of that raspberry ab color and then this floating magical pumpkin has both the gold fairy dust and the the orange ab's in it we have more of the lavender fairy dust right here and over here and more of the lavender fairy dust on this side and right here and then there's little bits of the pale blue fairy dust kind of sprinkle oh it's kind of like these little sprinkled effects here on the tips of her fingers too interesting and then the the clasp at her throat this yellow color is all gold fairy dust and then we're getting close <laughs> as we move up here in this pumpkin we've got orange abs gold fairy dust and then a sprinkling of orange abs here and then these white dots you're seeing those are white abs and the moon is all white abs of course i'm not shocked by that at all and then again yeah all these white dots are white abs including kind of up here and then this floating pumpkin has both the gold fairy dust and the orange abs and then we do have some more oh this all of this right here is the pale blue fairy dust and then we have the pale purple pale lavender blue <laughs> fairy dust in here as well as in here so yeah those two fairy dust colors that were really subtle glitter effects those are going to be like in the background in the sky and are just going to kind of give that it really works i think with the window because it's going to kind of give it a shimmery effect and kind of matches the glass i think um and then of course like kind of the little magic motes and everything i think it makes total sense to have those ab's and i do like that we found those raspberry or sorry the the yeah the ab's i like that we found the, the raspberry ab's kind of doing some accents on what she's wearing i like that placement a lot i think that's going to be really pretty so Anyway, you guys, this again, this was Harvest Witch. And the, a quick recap of the stats is 65 by 86 centimeters, square diamonds, 78 colors, three of which are ABs and three are fairy dust. Um, and this is uh, this is, was one of the new releases from this past weekend. And uh, as of the time of this filming, is still available to buy on the website. So I'll link to it directly if you want to take a look. It's perfect timing to pick up for Halloween. And I, I don't know that I'll work on it this year, but I might save it for next year's Halloween season. Uh, but I think that the, the kits from this artist, which I'm pretty sure I've completed one, maybe two before, do turn out really well, in my opinion, from Diamond Art Club. So I think that this one is probably going to turn out really, really beautifully as well, especially with all of those little details. So anyway, guys, I hope this was helpful to get to see. And if you were on the fence about this one after the weekend, you can go and, and take a look if this is one that now you're like, okay, no, I need to have this one. <laughs> Uh, but let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with my diamond painting content. You'll see a lot of unboxings and tutorials and reviews here, and I'd love to have you. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you have a day that is as amazing as you are, and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye. Bye.